Hi, I'm Fred Smith talking about registrations on Yamaha Ranger keyboards and here we're going to look at how to troubleshoot registrations, how to fix them when they're not loading what you want them to load. So here I've got an example of a registration that's got a song file, what we call a MIDI file, a style, user style, a multipad, and it's even got a text file that it loads. So the question is, what happens if it can't find the file? So if you're going along in your registration, and here you'll see that when I get to registration number three, I want a different song file. So what happens if the registration can't find that file? Well, let's find out. Let's just change the name and see what happens. Okay, so we'll add, I'll add the number one to this name. Now we'll get out of here, we'll go back to the start of my sequence, which loads registration number one. So we're starting with my first song, I move along in the sequence, and when I get to three, nothing changes here. And that's because the registration cannot find the file. It says, I'm sorry, I looked for it, but I couldn't find it, so it doesn't make any changes. So it might look to you like it's frozen, but what's happening is it can't find the file. So to fix it, we have to go back to the file, which was over here in the user area, and we have to get the name back to what the registration is looking for, which of course, as you remember, is without the number one on it. So now we've got the name back to the way we want, and now when we go back to the start of our sequence and move forward in it and load registration number three, it does find the file. So if you're finding it's not loading files for you, either song files or style files or multipads or text files, go check to see if it's actually there. And you might have changed the name, you might have changed the icon, that causes it to lose track of the file. You might have moved it to a different drive or a different USB. All of those things can break the communication between the registration and the file because the file is looking for exactly the file that you stored when you created the registration. Now the second problem that we're going to look at is over here. So in this registration, if you look at transpose, we'll start the registration. So here I start with a transpose of two and as I move along in the registration, that's the chorus, then I go to the verse, I change it to three, when I go back to five, there's no change in the transposition. Here we go back to reverse and we're changing it to transpose of four and nothing there. So, how do you know whether a registration has stored that information. And unfortunately, there isn't any way of finding out from the keyboard whether you've told it to store something. So another reason it might not find the file or might not load the file is because you didn't tell it to load the file. So when you memorize a registration, remember you have to tell it that you want it to store the multipad, you want it to store the style. And in this case, in this particular registration, I wanted to store the transpose. But if I go over to number five, where you remember it didn't change the key and ask it what's there, well, I still have transpose checked. That's because what's on this screen is simply whatever I had the last time I stored a registration. And it's not updated when you load a new registration. It's the most annoying thing in a Ranger keyboards in my opinion, I sure wish Yamaha would fix it because it would be really easy to do, but unfortunately they don't for now. And the only way to fix this is if a registration is not loading, for example, the voices that you want or the transposition, really the best fix is simply to rememorize it and make sure that you are checking off the boxes that you want that particular registration to memorize. So. Those are two things that you can look at when you're setting up your registrations and if it's not loading what you want it to load, you look at can it find the file that you told it to look for or secondly, did you tell it to memorize the group that you wanted it to. 
Thanks for watching.